Hey guys, it's Ephala here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, connect a GoPro Hero 4 Black to the Minimum OSD. And if you have that waiting for Mavlink Heartbeat, how to fix that crap. It's like 4.30 in the morning and I'm a little bit buzzed, but we'll show you how to do it. The cable I got here, I think I got off eBay. Uh, you know what connector this is, it's not the little ones. And yes, I know my camera's fucked up because, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're not getting into that. Um, the wire's coming out of it. I have this tape wrapped around it right now just to make sure I didn't shore anything out. It's going to the OSD. And if you flip it over on the other side, you'll see that the one says out and in. If you look at the other way, you'll see the out and in. Uh, out's closest to the board ends further away, which is what we had going on here. It's difficult to see. Um, the GoPro has its own battery, but the thing is, you gotta make sure you disconnect the red wire to the GoPro, so you don't, oh, hard to see, but, uh, so you don't blow anything up, so I just cut it. And the other side, you do have to have the red wire connected to your VTX, which mine's, I mean, this is a complete mess, but that's how you do it. You plug your cable into the top of it and the APM, this is APM 2.6 in the walk here, QRX 350 Pro, and obviously that iron goes into the minimum OSD. Now this is the part that you need to pay attention to because it's, if you look at mine, See the RX and the TX. Yours is probably swat the green where the yellow is, and the yellow where the green is. You want to swat those two cables. If you don't do that, you're gonna keep getting that um, waiting for the Mavlink OSD heartbeat or whatever. If that doesn't work for you, which it will, what you want to do after that is log into Mission Planner, um, use your USB connector since you have your telemetry port. I usually do it wirelessly, um, plug them in, so log in the mission planner, go into, I think it's initial setup, optional hardware, OSD, and you click the little button. It works sometimes for some people, I never had a problem with this. Once you swap these wires, then you're good to go. I know it's not my best video, but I just want to share it, because I haven't posted anything in a while, and uh, you know, let me know what's up guys. Thanks for watching.